Oh boy. Okay, so we are now. Um. Jeez. So we are now taking on. Um. A Skywarp and Thundercracker. A uh, Skywarp, uh, from what I've seen, is just a. The standard um, Starscream clone. That guy has like the same body type and everything. Jesus. And we're at the tail end of the game, believe it or not. I know this game is fairly short, but. And there we go. No time at all. See. Oh god, the sword was coming through my arm. Oh gear. I want that. And from you. Okay. So with that out of the way. Let's move on. Oh but wait. Oh god. I just remembered. What's gonna happen next? This is it. <sighs> oh, not this. Please, anything but this. Oh my god. This is just bull crap right here. My heart feels weak right now, gang. Just... Uh, okay, so we got all of the, um... Constructicons at once. It seems like an interesting fight, at least. You know. You're seeing, like, everything that would make up one of the most uh, well-known bots of the series, or franchise, I should say. And that's one down. Five or six to go. Crap, I missed. Okay, try this on. Rabbit should have dodged. And that's a bitch. Gotcha. Come on. And of course, I just probably use my guns. Shouldn't really rely on the sword too much. And shit. There's him. Shit. Ah, shit. Bitch. Think he's the last one? Think anyway. Oh, wait, there's one left. And 
Him should be a big daddy. Wait, I don't remember this happening. Wait, uh, unless this is just phase one or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, this would have to be like phase one of the fight. What is... <laughs> I was pressing on one. There we go. Shoot the leg. Okay, yeah, this is phase two now. It's him where he has drills, and Menasaur comes in. Just fucking perfect. A challenge? This was monstrous. When I first played this fucking game. Ah, Jesus! Fuck hell! At least I got my... Ah, uh, fuck shit. What the fuck? I pressed the... I pressed R1 for my vehicle attack. What the fuck? At least I got repair kits, so... I just want to stay in this fight a little longer. Ah, Jesus. Fuck. Shit. God damn it. I hate this fight. I really do because if it wasn't for these fucking repair kits, I would have I would have been getting game overs left and right. Jesus fuck. I don't even think that the sword does a whole lot to him. And I didn't know that. Fuck. And of course, friendly fire is off for them be because they can't hurt each other. Fucking bullshit. Okay, so I can just get. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm cool with. Okay, I'm cool with. Um. Devastator leaving because then Menace Sword is just all on his own, and I just gotta avoid his sword and lightning balls. And that's on a wrong coming out. <laughs> and there we go. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Like, first S rank? What the fuck? Since when have I become awesome at this? <laughs> Again with the show thing. Who? Hey, my heart was kind of pounding right there for a second. Whew. And now, third time, I believe, fighting Megatron. We should have been allies, you know. Imagine well, you may get your wish in Transformers Dark Knight, which I am not excited for because I think that because I think there's there because I think there's been enough live action Transformers movies. At least at least by Michael Bay. You know, first one was great. The second one not as good, but really long. I didn't care about, um, I didn't care about, uh, Dark of the Moon, which, I, I think that was the third title, uh, but, ah, crap. Why does it look at them in football? Uh, the best way I can, um, describe this, ah, oh, shit. best way that I can describe this last fight, basically think of it as, basically think of it as, um, uh, Blitzwing 2.0, except, except there's no plane, thankfully, instead just a dumbass tank. Even the same spinning bullshit they do. And I say uh, Blitzwing 2.0, not because of the tank, but be 
but rather because of the um, moves he does. You know, the kicks, the... the... the uh, charging tackle. Uh, tank mode speaks for itself. Shit. Thankfully, I got um, med kits. That and these trees also has energon. Sometimes not a lot, but there is. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, and he's also a um, smaller menasaur because of the um, lightning balls. Why does that sound so wrong? I don't know why. It just does. Boom! Crap, I missed. Oh yeah, he has a mace too. Not surprised that. Not surprised that Triangle Football hasn't been destroyed yet. God damn, what is that thing made of? But hopefully it's not a stupid name as in um, ow, as in um, um, Age of Extinction, where basically they uh, scrapped up um, um, um. Autobots to create their own artificial ones and they claim to be better than the original which is bullshit because originals are originals for a damn good reason and, and there goes him probably the easiest time I had with him so far well well actually the easiest encounter I had with him on this difficulty you know, because, like, when I first played it, all these bosses for me, when it came to all these bosses, I absolutely sucked balls. You know, like, uh, Menasaur and Devastator took me, took me, like, like, nearly two hours to beat. I was so frustrated, so frustrated, like, I didn't want to play it anymore. But I pressed on because I wanted to see the ending. And, and I said, this is over the top. And hey, we never use that gun. I will not let you take victory away from me. And with this, and this version of the fight, think of it as a uh, start. Think of it as a, a star screen fight with a different coat of paint. And Prime has jet boots. What the fuck? Wow! I was doing a lot more damage. To him. What the fuck? Ow. God damn it. God damn it. Like, uh, see what I mean by a star screen fight with a different coat of paint? Like, you can barely tell if he's gonna hit you or not. Jesus. Doubt it. Ah, oh, come on. Let me hit you. Fuck you, Megatron. I know you're a fan favorite, but fuck you, man. Okay, almost got him. Oh, what the fuck do I do? Oh. And button mash like a and button mash like a motherfucker. Booyah! See? I don't even care. Whoo! That, that was kind of intense. Not really, but you know. Okay, so time for the diamond football to get out of here. Megatron, what have you done? One last fail safe. Ah, oh, great. To shut down the aerotaxis. <laughs> it has to be destroyed. Destroy it. There you, you go. Hold the fate of Cybertron in your hands, Prime. You are correct, Megatron. And 
And I have the courage to make the right decision. <laughs> he, he, let's it go. And bitch! Wow! How the fuck does that thing have all the power? Oh, uh, and the and the bridge is still holding up. <laughs> okay, so now they can scrap up parts for the um, metal in in um, Age of Extinction. And now he's just gonna re-enter Earth's atmosphere, and we never use that gun. Oh boy. We have lived on Earth for decades. That's but true. I see now that we have not truly accepted Earth as our home. How could you not? You were we created. Some distant hope that we would return to a newly reformed Cybertron. <laughs> Don't blame you. Maybe one day that will happen. But we cannot continue to live in between worlds. From this day forward, we are no longer Cybertronians who are stranded on another world. Really? I just thought. We are a part of Earth. And we must treat Earth as though we were forged here. Mm. And we must protect our home, no matter the cost. But didn't you do that to begin with? I mean, like, wasn't that the whole point of all you guys? How are you recovering, Optimus? I will live, thank you. <laughs> Fortunately, it appears that Earth will as well. Have you found a way to strengthen our forces? As I said, it's not without risks. I was thinking about what I was told. Hmm. The prophecy on the proud star. That there is a way to end the war. Incoming transmission. Defensor and superior. Protect and serve. Wow. Us. That's our job. See, I Bloom. We are here to help too. You don't have to do this alone. And there's still pictures, I apparently. We the birth of the Decepticons. This might just be the price we... What? So basically, he's gonna be a new Menasaur. Wow. I did not expect that. Uh, Kiji Saito. Hmm. And that's the end of the game. So, um, that was pretty fun. You know, this time, because, well, uh, let me rephrase. Um, I have played this game a grand total, well, I played this game, um, um, to the end credits a grand total of twice, including this. And then, and then, uh, uh last year, uh, I got a, um, notification that I got, um, ten... I got 10 um, YouTube subscribers, which absolutely made my day because that's like the number that I would all, because that's the number I always said I'd get, you know, every number, well, like, I know that it's just a number, but, but I mean, come on, <laughs> and, and Bumblebee, cocky asshole, fuck you, Blitzwing. Ate that son of a bitch. Well, anyway, so anyway, uh, I did this, but on the easier difficulty because because I didn't want to go through all of that bull crap again. Uh, and by that I mean the um, um, Devastator and Menasaur fight, the the the, um, the the last two encounters with Megatron. And the um, Devastator by himself, or not Devastator, um, Menasaur by himself, but also the um, crap, what was it? Uh, Blitzwing, Blitzwing is Blitzwing, you know, but, but I don't know how easy he is on, but I don't know how easy it is on the lowest setting, but. But I digress. The like, like, like the uh, bullcrap fight. I I don't want to go. 
well, like, I didn't want to go through all of that again. But, but that playthrough was scrapped, and because, because I realized I, I was knocked back down to nine. Yeah. Still am at nine at the time of this, but, but, I think you make do. Even if it's, even if you don't feel like you're making a, bleh. Even if you don't feel like you're making any progress. But. But as for the game itself, uh, graphically, I thought that it looked great. You know. You know, like, it's very in tune with the original show. Which, admittedly, I haven't seen any episodes, but I've seen clips here and there. So. And. And of course, the original voice actor of, of of Optimus Prime is always a plus. You know, you always gotta have him on here because it's not really Optimus or it's not, it's not really Transformers without him, unless it's Transformers and him from 2008, which I thought was great. Anyway, um, uh, Carousel. Yeah, um, character selection I thought was kind of weak. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, um, oh my, oh my god. Steve Blum, or actually the guys did practically everyone. Jesus. Peter Cullen, Peter Cullen, that's his name. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, um, as, f anyway, um, uh, I mean, obviously with Transformers, you need Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and, and recently you need Grimlock. Oh, shit, anime style. But anyway, um, uh, Grimlock, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee are the main ones you need. Sideswipe, Wheeljack, I think are extras. You know, like, they're kind of the, um, um, obscure characters in the series. Like, uh, maybe if you're bringing in Ratchet or something, because, like, everyone knows Ratchet. I mean, I mean come on. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember this. This is a, a cliffhanger. But just wait for it. Nova Prime himself. And he is reactivated. So that kind of hints at there being a sequel, but to be honest, I don't really think that it's going to happen because these Platinum games, uh, they don't have too much. Well, actually, there's very little of Faith Burn Axe. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, the weapons. Um, so I say where I got that. Um, with with the Platinum Games, which is the... And Platinum is the uh, company that... That... Um, that um, made this game. But they also made... Um, Teenage Mutant... Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan, uh, uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2, which is ironically their only franchise that has a sequel. But, um, what the? Cryo Cutter? Jesus. I'll check some of these weapons out in my own time, but whatever. Um,. Anyway, um, a gameplay I thought was fun, you know, um, um, uh, Platinum Games has always been the company to do, um, hack and slash games, and I think that they did this, um, really well, no question about it. Hey, bees all the way across the board, get someone Bumblebee. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, uh, music I thought was... Music, I think, is okay, 
there's nothing too special except for the main theme because that's Transformers theme remix. Uh, voice acting I thought was great since they brought back some of the um, surviving cast, and of course uh, Steve Bloom is is just as recognizable as ever. But but do I recommend it? Well, if you want to know more about the characters and their motives, uh, this probably wouldn't be a good place to start. I would, like, watch any of the shows, you know, because the shows are kind of like um, reboots of one another. But rather than, rather than that, as a game to play, go for it. Go for it. Like, for like this is available for the um, new gen for the uh, current generation, which is PS4 and Xbox One. So, so, so if you have any of those, play away. Okay, so and now I gotta prepare because I'm in because well, let's just say that I'm going um see I'm going a lot more than me deep in. I'm going back even deeper into hell. So, reach for the stars, everyone.